Hi everyone, Ivan from Webosh here. Today we'll continue our look into Display Suite by creating Display Suite fields. Now, these fields should not be confused with the standard field system. These field types, if you would call them that, are Display Suite specific. And essentially, they are just glorified formatters. And that's it. So, if you want to learn the basics of Display Suite, check out this previous video. If not, Stick around and learn how to create display suite fields. So to create display suite fields, it's pretty simple. You start off by going to structure and let's go back to the display suite page and you'll see this fields tab, just click on it. From here, you can manage existing fields, but in our case, we have no fields, so there's nothing to manage. But you have these three options, add, a block field, add a token field, and create a copy of a display suite field. So at this point, you can create three different display suite field types, a block field, a token field, and a copy of an existing field. Now, it's important to note that you can create custom fields purely in code, but for this video, we'll just focus on these three field types. So let's start off by creating a block field. And what a block field essentially lets you do is render blocks within a display suite layout through this particular field. So just click on add field. And from this dropdown, you can see all available blocks. And what I'll do is I'll select the recent content because that's the block I want to display. And I'll just call it the same thing, recent content. I'll select which entity it's available on. I'll select node because I want to add it to the article uh, content type. And, and this limit field is a bit of a advanced option. It lets you control where this particular field, recent content, will be allowed on. So if I was to add in this, for example, if I just copy this in, this means that this field will only appear on article content types. If I was to add in page, it will only appear on page, but you can go one step further and say, I only want this field to appear on the article content type on the full content view mode. So this lets you control uh, where specific fields will, will be available on. And this is only useful when you have a ton of fields, but in our case, we'll just leave it as it is. And another thing to be aware here is that if you were to create a view, a view block, it'll also be displayed here. So this is a good way of, of uh, rendering block views within a display suite layout. So then just click on save. And here I'll just configure the block. So if there's any custom configuration for the block, you can modify it here. And I'll just select the default, okay. So now at this point, we have created the block the block field. Let's now add it to our article content type. So click on uh, displays and go back into manage display. And don't forget to click on full content because that's what we did in, in the last video. And you should see this recent content field. What I'll do is I'll just add it to the header region because I know it's empty and click on save. If I go to content and then test article, you will see that the custom block is being rendered. Pretty simple. Okay, let's now go back to structure, display suites, and click on fields. And let's now create a token field. So click on add a token field. And again, let's just call this test token, call it, uh, sorry, we'll add it to the node entity. Let's just leave limit field. And in the field content, you can add in tokens. Now for people who don't know, tokens are similar to short codes in WordPress. So if I was to add in node uh, colon title, Drupal will see this token and simply replace it with, with the node title but you can add in static text. So if I was to add in uh, static, let me just add in static content and save it, well, the token field can be used for that. 
But let's go one step further and add in an actual token. So what I'll do is call this title so that we know that is the actual title and I'll add in node node title. And if we go back to manage display, we should see the test token. Awesome. Let's just add that to the header. And if I go to test article, you will see that our token field is being rendered. That's great. Let's now go back to display suite and fields. And one thing I will mention, if you click on edit, you will see that there's no way of actually um, seeing the available tokens. I just know that it's node colon title because I've been using Drupal for a while. But what you can do is just download the token uh, module and it'll offer a pop-up modal that shows you all available tokens. So let's just quickly do that now. What I'll do is type in Drush DL token and then Drush enable token. So all I'm doing here is downloading token and enabling it and that's it. Okay, let's go back and if we refresh the page, we should see. Okay, we see this browse available tokens, great. If you click on that, you get a nice little modal pop-up on the side here. And this lets you see all, let me expand that, all available tokens. So you can see that there are a lot of tokens. Now be aware, some of these tokens may not be available. So if you were to add them in, uh, they may not render because it all depends on context. Now that's a whole other, other advanced topic, but just be aware, just because the token's available here doesn't mean it'll work here, okay? But I do know that node will work. So if you click on here, you can see you can drill down and put in the uh, content, uh, sorry, sorry, the comments, you can put in the image field, you can do a whole ton of stuff. Let's now move over to the final field type and that is create a copy of a display suite field. Now, this name is pretty confusing. You know, what is a, what is a display suite field? Well, let me demonstrate. Let's go back into manage display. And if I go into full content, display suite gave us a few fields which are implemented in custom code. So that is submitted by, title, post date, links, read more, bundle name, all of these fields are implemented in code. So let's just say we want to add the title to, let's just say we want to add it to the right region and hit save, okay? Which is great. And we can even modify a few things with the field, which is great, okay? But what if you want to have two versions of the title field? What if you want to add one to the right region and then you want to add one to the left region. And so this is this is where this field type, which allows you to copy existing fields, becomes useful. Let's go back to structure. Uh, whoops. Display suite and fields. So click on create a copy of a display suite field. And I'll call this second title, call it uh, select node, that's fine, leave limit field as it is. And I'll select node dash title and click on save. So you can see here that the field type is a copy field. If we go back to manage display, we should see second title. And if I was to add it to the left region this time, and I'll click on save. And then go to our test article, we should see two titles, one in the left and one in the right. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope now you have a better understanding of 
the three different display suite fill types. If you want to learn more about Drupal, head over to webwash.net where you can learn about Drupal 7 and as well as Drupal 8. If you enjoy this video and want to watch more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.